Yo, top of the top to you. Pause, but real talk. What's going on? We about to get into some Aries energy. I hope everyone is feeling well out there, feeling great, fantastic, fantabulous, if that's even a word. And um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my ashtray. Well, here go one of them. This one's going to have to do for right now. All right? I may cuss, but I don't curse, you heard? And with that being said, let's get these cards read. Bars. I'm working on a new song anyway, so it's only right that I talk about bars. But look, we're going to be doing outcomes today. Pause. And so that's a four card draw. I ain't going to hold you long. Pause. Probably under 10 minutes. Yeah, definitely under 10 minutes. But over five. And um, if you need to contact me, get in the description box. You know what I'm saying? All of the information will be there once you click the link inside of there. Pause. That's crazy. <laughs> Pause. But for the Aries energy, cross watches everybody included. Let's get to it. First card. This is going to be the situation at hand, everybody. We have the moon card. The moon, the moon, the moon. First of all, something is trying to get to you through your dreams. If you're not dreaming well, work on decalcifying your pineal gland. It's a thing. Like, you can research it. There's videos on YouTube about it and all kinds of stuff. Um... But um, something is trying to be communicated to you through your dreams. And I know I've heard that some people don't even dream anymore. I haven't ever dreamed before. That's a thing, too. And my apologies if I um, triggered you in some type of way. The reason being is because there's some type of vagueness in your life right now. And it's only, you know, there's only but so much is being shown to you. And I get that it's because should more be shown to you, you'll be overwhelmed. Not over... Okay, hold on. Let me bring that back. Because I also get the I also get the feeling that you're overwhelmed anyway. Just saying. And if you was to get all of this information at one time, then you would be really overwhelmed. Because you would think that and I mean the information like in the 3D, in the 3D realm. If you were to get all your desires or all of the information that you were looking for, you would be excessively overwhelmed. But because you're getting little bits and pieces of it, there is a level of anxiety there. There's some type of fear there and it's because you don't know. All right. And that's natural. That's understandable. But at the same time, what you can also know is that it's for a reason. When you get pieced off information, it's like spoon-fed information, it's for a reason. Not everybody is able to process information in the 3D realm at a rate that supports what they got going on in the 3D realm. That's why sleep is important. That's why it's important to get dreams. And not only to dream, but to remember what happens in those dreams. Because that's where the information is going to come from. And you may say, well, that's not fair. That's also the point. It's not fair. And just think about things on the 3D realm that are not fair. And then you might say to yourself, oh, well, that levels the playing field. And that's the point that I'm trying to say right now. They can't hear you in there. They can't hear you in your dreams. They can hear you out here. Y'all hear me right now, right? Unless, you know, you got some master astral projectors out there that's sharing dreams with you. But that's another story for another time. Let's see what the next card is. This is the obstacle. Yeah. Got to fight for something. You got to fight for something. It's the obstacle. Um, I think this is just being protective of what it is that you have going on in general. Um, this could be you being territorial as well. So wherever your vicinity is, wherever you're living, like there could be all types of shit going on where you're living at and you're not, you're not budging. So you know how like you may hear about atrocities going on in the cities and stuff like that. And you're like, yo, that's crazy. There's mad crime and this and the third. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, there's supposed to be earthquakes coming and the fucking weather is changing. Nobody know what the fuck is really going on. No, it's crazy. I'm leaving. Right? Not you.
and why everybody is why everybody is scattering, right? Or at least panicking. This to me doesn't look like someone who's swinging out of control. This is someone who just has their wand up. Pause. And they're just like, yo, I see all of y'all. Or I see all of this happening around me. And I'm just saying, yo, I'm holding my shit down. You know what I'm saying? Don't cross this line. Y'all can even speak to me from right there. But don't think y'all going to get a fast one on me. Don't think I'm going to be intimidated. Don't think I'm going to be just uprooted from where I done grew up and built my child or my memories. Or not even that. Maybe it's a new place that you moved to and you're still like, yo, I just got here. The fuck is y'all talking about? Or oh, I've been here for 10 years. What is y'all talking about? Like, I done built a home for myself. Like, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, shit, it look like it's crumbling all over the place. and that, But I ain't going nowhere. Y'all panicking and doing it. Yeah, that shit is not going to be contagious around me. Now, I'm saying it with this strength and prowess, right? But that's the obstacle card. So we got to take that and we got to flip that and we got to say, well, damn, is standing my ground really worth it? Because it seems, obviously, it seems like it's an obstacle to challenge the opposing side and stand my ground and this, that, and the third. It's like, why? Like, how much help do you really have if the shit does go down? You know what I'm saying? Let's draw the um, action recommended to take for the Aries energy. That's deep. The death card. Another major arcana out here. Aries, we setting it off deep, yo. So the route that's act, actually being asked to take is a spiritual one. Hmm. So there could be some type of sudden upheaval. Maybe it is relative to your community. If it's not relative to your community. Hmm. Oh, I see now. This is all spiritual. This is all spiritual. So it looks like you're in the spiritual. You're, do, you're in the doing spiritual stuff. So. It's saying to keep on doing that stuff. To keep on doing that stuff and to let go of shaky foundations, meaning if there's disruptions in your life, in your business world, whatever the case may be, if you're doing spiritual work for business, if there's disruptions in the foundation of it, surrender to it. And when I mean disruptions, I mean shaky ground. You don't know what's what, you don't know what's coming in, what's going out anymore, or, or the ratio that it's happening at, but you just, you just keep on going. If you keep on going, just cool because this is what i'm getting the more you anticipate the more you anticipate some type of beginning the more that it's going to look like an ending is going to occur but nonetheless an ending is going to recur anyway because you're doing spiritual work which is going to cause you to transform spiritually But what's the outcome if you take this action recommended? The hangman. It's three major arcanas out here. This is telling me that you're going to attract... Okay, this is a spiritual worker. This read is for spiritual workers. And what's going to happen when you ignore or just stop trying to be combative is you're going to transform spiritually because of that and the audience that you attract to you the community that you attract to you or that you intertwined with they're going to come to you feeling trapped they're going to need and want answers they're going to feel like they're limiting themselves and if they don't identify that that is going to be most of the advice that you give to them that they're limiting themselves because they're looking outside of themselves for something that is truly within. That's all I got for now. Till next time.